Turn around, turn around, turn around. Wow. You're just told or you will get tased. Yes, guys, welcome back to the channel. News Now Yorkshire here. And well, we're back out in the city of London. We're returning to the scene of the crime. The crime being recording a Rolls Royce. So Tom's just having a look at this Rolls Royce here. And uh, all I were doing is leaning on this wall. So I'm leaning on the wall, just like this. And what happened next was absolutely mental. I spotted a police car go by and he spun around in the junction there and I saw another one walking down so they started recording and seconds later well the madness happened Gents, show me around now! Stay there! Stay there! Turn around, turn around, turn around Wow You just told me you will get tased Okay, yeah? no right, problem We're detained for a purpose of a search on deception One of the police and criminal evidence attacks, okay? No problem Brown scene as Officer Johnny has just seen you guys pledge for concealing what he believes to be a knife, okay? No. Nope. My name's PC Matt Crafton, at the Bishop State Police Station, the of London Police, okay? The purpose of the search is to find what we believe to be a knife, okay? Okay. okay? No problem, That's sir. That's the object of the search I'm looking for. No so problem. You've got a copy of the search record, you've got 30 days to obtain one from the foot. Uh, no problem, sir. No problem. Wow. Wow. I'm just waiting for my. Fr I was literally just. Yeah, no problem, no problem. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I've got some over here. No problem. Have you got anything on you, my friend? No, no, we're just waiting for my friend who was talking to that guy there. Yeah, yeah, so you've got wow, nothing sharp. Wow, this is crazy. No, nothing at all, no. Nothing sharp. Nothing, 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 nothing at all. Anything you should have on you. Nothing at all. All right. I noticed you've got some cameras on you and a bit of filming. Are you an auditor at all? No, no, we're just waiting for my friend who was talking to the guy. He was finding out what this building is. I said, I think it's a university. So I've explained to you, okay, it's in Austria's colleague, seen you, potentially, with a knife, okay? No, he, he, he didn't, though. <laughs> no problem. Just for the purposes of this, okay, obviously being filmed on body one. Yep, no problem. You've got a drone on you yet? No problem. So what we do, everything's on camera. I'm going to just pop your stuff in your bag. No worries, you do what you need to do, just don't tease me. <laughs> wow. Got a lot of recorded equipment, you, sir? Yep, I like to take pictures. I've just yeah, taken some pictures of your car that was parked around the corner. No, I was going to get some of the van that's a part down the road. I'm just waiting for him. Do you? Are you an auditor from YouTube? An auditor from YouTube. That's like financial stuff, isn't it? Marty Bagra? That's not me. Nah. Do apologise, I'm not really here to insult you. Just have a bit, bit of conversation on the first you know? Maybe you should have started with the conversation and not the tether. <laughs> Unfortunately, it does always work like that, so I'm afraid. If we have uh, suspicion that someone's got a knife on you, obviously we've got to make snap decisions. Well, I'd like to know who lied about the knife. Well, we don't know anyone's lied yet. We haven't well, they definitely have. I know they have. I know they have we lied. You know that. We don't know. Yeah, that. yeah. People lied to us which is why I understand know. the search. I get, yeah, I, yeah. I get what you're doing. I do. Someone's told you that I had a knife, we but I would like to know who lied to you. Well, we can't come release <laughs> information to you, but it's not duty police officer. I will find out. I will definitely find out who who lied. We have to obviously take it as facts until we know otherwise. I will definitely find out who lied though. Yeah, yeah, you can do a freedom of information. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely, like absolutely. But we have to take it, especially if it's a colleague of ours, we have to take it as facts yep, until these, we know otherwise. These cuffs are very tight, I'll just let you know. Yeah, 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 I'm just, just mm -hmm. yeah no problem, just as soon as you can. I'd appreciate that. Can, can I be uncuffed now? Two seconds, we're going to bottom out what's going on inside this loading bay, obviously, you've been seen going in and out of here. But I don't have a knife, which was the, uh, which was the initial yeah, assessment. Yeah, so, we've got to chat to a couple of people. Yeah, I'm that just people... asking questions, man, that's all. Yeah, I'm answering your question, if yeah. you want me to answer it. Go on, then. We've got to chat to a few people to okay, find out okay. what has happened. So, if there's an in the area, we'll have a little look for it. Can we adjust the cuffs at least, because these are really tight, my hands are going numb. Like I said, if you put on you, if there's an indication of the knife, okay, we have to be exceptionally careful, okay? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Hmm. Not really. <laughs> Is that one alright? No. <laughs> this one's too tight? They're both, that, one, that one feels even tighter now. That's even looser, you get two fingers in there mate. Turn it with all the sun. Yeah, of course you want to know about them. Do you want to stay like this or you have to turn around? Push your feet. Can you do the mask again? Can I do your mask? Of course you can, yeah, yeah. Thank you. So it's going to be a couple of minutes. My colleague's just chatting to various people and I assume they get in touch with the officer who called it initially. Was it the guy in plain clothes or walking down the street? I can't see. I don't know exactly who it is, to be honest. And if nothing's found, those costs have come up. This is ridiculous. Well, it's not ridiculous. It is. Why is it ridiculous? Because I know there's no knife. So yeah, you have well, to we see don't know, it. do we? I, well, you have to see it from my point of view. I know it's ridiculous. No, no, no. no. You, you have to see it from our point of no, view. No, but you don't know that it's ridiculous yet. But when you realise there's no knife, you will know that it's been ridiculous. No, uh, well, yeah, but from our point of view at the minute, it's not ridiculous. And if someone thinks they saw a knife, then this is exactly how we should be dealing with it. He's a liar. No, not necessarily he's a liar. He's a liar. He's a liar. He might have seen something else that he thought he had, he had no reasonable suspicion to suspect, to suspect well, you that I had that. a knife. You, you can't account for his suspicion. I can't. No, you can't. Well, there was no, no knife exists. No, but that's for him to justify, not for the you The knife to justify. does not exist. Yeah, yeah. Listen to me, though. That's for him to justify. But it doesn't not, exist. You're not listening to what I'm saying. Not really, no. If he reasonably suspects he saw a knife... But he can't reasonably suspect that he saw a knife unless he saw something that was either looking like a knife... Well, he can, can't he? Yeah, if he... Whatever he's seen on you or your colleague... My mobile phone. I don't know what it was, but he has clearly seen something that he suspects is a knife. Now, I can't justify that for him, and I'm, you can't I'm telling you now he's made it up. He, he might be wrong, He's made it up. But he might... He justifies that how he justifies that. Have you ever heard of misfeasance in public office? Yeah, and it's completely different. Yeah. So we're just going to wait. They've got a few CCTV. Yeah, cool. Out what they're actually doing in there. Once we've found out what's going on from the CCTV, sir, then we'll work out a plan from there, all right? The plan is you let me go, and Very I go on with my day, and so I'm going to go take some pictures of your van. What's been discarded? Yeah, but I do. Yeah. Are you uh, willing to give me your name at all, or any details? Absolutely not. All right. Okay. It's time you're not obliged to, but. Like I said, I'll explain to you, my name's PC Matt Clapham, sitting on the police, okay? If you don't want to give me your name, okay? But it just makes conversation with you a little bit easier, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, maybe you should have approached me and asked uh, some questions like I said nicely. To you, okay. As I've said to you, okay, my colleague believed you in possession of life. But he's a Hence, liar. Listen, I'm not going to make judgments from that, okay? I have I, to go I'm on the information make the received. I'm okay? making the judgment. Okay, that's fair. You're enough to welcome, okay? But my judgment is he's a liar. I have, I have to act on information that's given to me in the best course of that in the time, okay? He's put you in a really bad situation, though, hasn't he, Matt? I'm not going to answer that, okay? Like I said, you're free to put a freedom of information request in and you can get the details you want off that, okay? In this meantime, you're still detained while we've got them out, what's going on, awesome. and then we'll go from there, okay? Brilliant. And what section have you detained me under? So, it was section one of the Police and Criminal Evidence Act, okay, to search for an offensive weapon, i.e. a knife. And what's your justification for that detainment? Okay, as I explained to you, off-duty officer has yep. seen you in this building, potentially coming out and concealing what he believes to be a knife in your jacket, okay? And who is that off-duty officer? I can't disclose at this moment in time. Obviously, okay. freedom of information request, you're free to do that. Okay. If and when we're finished here, okay, and you're free to go, when? I will give you a piece of paper. When we're finished? Idea. Yep. You just can bottom out what's going on in yeah, there. When you, we're finished. When we're finished, I'll give yeah. you a piece of paper with my details on it, okay? Okay, okay. We don't do stop and search records on paper in the city, it's all digital. Okay. So I'll write that up today, and then once you email us or give me an email address, I'll can get to send that to you, okay? Okay, okay. Brilliant. Was it this guy here in the green top? I'm not going to disclose that, like I said, okay? Can't disclose yeah. that at this moment. That guy there in the green top. That's the off-duty officer that was talking to the other guy coming down the road. You're a liar. Liar? Yeah, you're a liar. Sorry, Jeff. Definitely him. Definitely him. <clears throat> All right, Sarge, can I come out of these cuffs yet? I didn't cuff you, so I just thought about what's going on with CCTV in there, just to figure out what I was actually doing. So you got it. You got it right. So I've got off to a demo. 283. What's your name? What's your name? PC James. PC James. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. You? No, I'm just saying okay, thank you. Oh, right, okay. Oh, okay. I wasn't asking how you are. Uh, Frankly, I don't care. Pardon? Frankly, I don't care. Okay. And what's your name? The one holding onto my arm? PC Rolf. PC Rolf. 
Is it just a GoPro on your chest, is it? Any other cameras anywhere, or that's it? You've just searched me, have you not? No, no, just saying, but just... <laughs> just because you had loads in your bag, didn't you, so... Yep. So... And you better not have scratched any of them. No, like I said, what I've done... I put them all gently down. None of the lenses are facing the ground, as you can see there. I noticed the screen on my phone is like, it's facing the ground, so hopefully you haven't scratched that. Otherwise you will be charged. What a day for you. Oh, no. I'll put that up there. Okay. Camera lenses wise, that's all up right for you, okay? I'll try to put it as gently as possible. And then once I put them, that was going in there, okay? Then we'll go from there, all right? This guy here, green top. Tattoo's on his right arm. This is the uh, off-duty police officer. We've got CP702. CP693, CP197, CP283. Have you got one of the contacts? CP801, CP194. We've got two on me now, Ralph. Back to one. Hmm. I don't know the. Uh, the other blonde lady is. Can't see her numbers. CP705 or 6. Can't see. I believe it's a 5. Um, would you like to give details for a copy of search? Absolutely not. Okay, fine. Yeah, that's what we're saying. I'm the leaving the Sergeant, uh, Sergeant is. Sergeant U10CP. Uh, it's going to be stopped here. No, can you do my mask again, please, Matt? Of course I can. Thank you very much. Yes, it is. Right, I'm going to move it on there so it doesn't blow away in the wind. Thank you very much. So I've just slapped it under your phone between the case and that. Appreciate that. Putting it down away. <laughs> He's been released, can I be released now? I don't know what's going on because we're doing more checks to make sure. I'm still in cuffs and he's out of cuffs. Matt, can I be released yet? Because uh, he's out of cuffs now. No, I asked Matt, not you, Sarge. Do you have a number? Quick phone call, Why is one in cuffs and one not in cuffs? That's up to the officer's discretion. It's got nothing to do with... I'm not here. talking to you, Saj. Well, I'm just answering you because I know the law. So this lady is uh, CP194. And we're still missing... Oh, yeah, we've got CP728, the blonde lady that we missed before. And... So now they said that we had a knife, and now they're saying that we've been inside the building. I'm pretty sure this is a university, so even if we did go inside the building, I don't understand what the issue would be. Hmm. Sarge. Within the back of the building, that's suspicious behaviour. For me, that is covered under section 43. Sad, you have to have reasonable suspicion that we are in fact terrorists. So you think we're a terrorist? That is not reasonable, Sergeant. Hmm. 
Listen in. Right, so just explain what's happened, okay? Yep. You're not. I can't hear you. It's okay. Mate, can I come out of the bushes? My hands have gone numb. Okay. Okay. Right, you guys win quite the details at all for, uh, for intelligence purposes. If, if I'm obliged to come out. You're not obliged, but are you willing to give us your details at all? If I'm, if I'm not obliged, obliged to, I don't not obliged, but I just want to voluntarily, you're going to be on the No, then. okay, not a drama. Right, listen, are you listening? If, listen? if we don't, if we don't... I'm going to get that to that now, okay? Right, if we don't... Listen. What no, listen, no, listen, because I mean, he just said we're not obliged. We're not obliged. So, 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 right, so if we don't give, if we don't give them, then what happens then? Right, so I do not suspect Section 43 of the terrorism act right now. Right. I have bottomed out with security in this building that yeah. you were just poking your heads through, yeah. filming. What your purpose is, I don't know. I do not believe we have enough of the terrorism act, okay? I'm sure you guys are auditing, and you know the law a lot better than me, don't you? Because you read it up a lot. Secondly, I believe you're an auditor on YouTube that I've seen before, okay? So what will happen? Now you're going to be let go. But I'd strongly suggest, obviously, if you are filming and auditing, to be exceptionally careful with what you're doing because we will get called back again and it's likely we'll be you'll detained and searched. Okay, you'll treat us fairly, won't you? Uh, listen, that's what we've done now, haven't we? No. So, Matt, now that you don't suspect anything, can I come out of this of cup, course please? I can, and that Thank was you what very I was much. Will you get off my arm? Get off my arm. I calm down. He's already said you don't suspect anything. Let go of my arm. Now, here we go. Thank you. Move. So yeah, that madness happened. And um, from there we went down to Bishopsgate Police Station. I think it's that way somewhere. Went down to Bishopsgate Police Station. Behave yourself. Print the stop search record off for me, please. What's your name? My name's on there. I can tell you my name, so I don't mind you. What is it? You can read it, can't you? No, I can't read very well. Thompson. Thompson. We got that. And then we called HNK solicitors. And uh, HNK solicitors finally sorted everything out for us, as they always do. And we found um, we found out a few names actually. We found out the guy with the taser was uh, PC Ashworth. <laughs> I think you were talking to me. Yeah, so PC Ashworth, the guy with the taser, it was really shaky. And we found out PC Green, the guy in the green top that said uh, that I had a knife in my pocket, the liar. And we got uh, PC Matt Clapper, who we already we already knew. Now, if fairness to Matt. He was okay, you know, he's acting on information he's been given from a colleague. So you can't really, you know, stuck between a rock and a hard place really, any. he? Can't really fault him that much. Um, but I would definitely say that PC Green was a liar. Now unfortunately, how do you prove that he was lying? How do you prove that PC Green was making it up? He never saw a knife, he never saw anything resembling a knife. Which, I mean, I know to be true. I know that he didn't. He knows that he didn't. But on the balance of probabilities, which is what is expected in a civil court, on the balance of probabilities, would we expect a win? I'm not too sure, and neither were the solicitors. So we settled, we settled out of court, and uh, we settled for 500 pounds. That being because, once they'd searched us, once they found there was nothing illegal in our possession, they should have just let us go, but they didn't. They carried it on. They went searching up and down the street, there was checking CCTV cameras because because someone said we'd been in that building there, which we hadn't. One of the sergeants um, nearly used the terrorism legislation and that would have got a whole lot worse for him if he did. But fortunately for him, he had Matt there and uh, Matt sorted out for him. So he didn't, uh, he didn't end up using that. But there was a definite 19 minutes of detainment with no reason whatsoever, they'd already searched us. The reason that they used was section one of PACE, looking for a bladed article. They found there was no bladed article, and they kept us in cuffs for an extra 19 minutes. So for the 19 minutes, we settled for 500 pounds. Thank you very much. Plus costs, obviously, uh, legal fees and whatnot. It was a bit mad though, you know, when uh, when we was here before, right? 
Tom's got slammed up against this uh, this gate here. Yeah. He's slammed up against gate. I'm twisted up in corner. Yeah. And then at some point, Tom's gets let go. He gets taken out of cuffs when they find out that he ain't got no on him. Yeah. And then the sergeant who tried to use terrorism act, yeah. he went, get hold of him. I remember this, yes. So he goes, get I hold of him. I remember it from the video itself. And then he's, uh, he's bloody, um, He's back in, you know, two two man grip again. They didn't put him back in cuffs, but they did put him in a two man grip. Yeah. For another twenty minutes yeah, or so. Yeah, because they had him both side by side with him, weren't they? Yeah. Uh, What's that, mate? Ah, right. Yeah, they can just stand out there, just don't let him in. That's it. Yeah, no, we don't want to come in. It's, we just um, we just got the five hundred pound payout for when all the police got called. You what? You know when the police got called? Mm. Do you remember when the armed response came? No, I don't. I didn't work here then. Ah, right. It was it was maybe a year ago. So City of London just paid us 500 quid. Good for you. Yeah, it was a good day to be honest. So we're just coming to do the update video, just let everybody know what happened. Cool. Just start over there, start the way of it. That's another nice car there, look at that. Yeah. Some bit wrappings, look. Yeah, you got to go over there, mate. <laughs> so the boss has come down. He didn't work here then, but the boss has come down. He's let him know. There's nothing they can do. We are going to be staying outside. All good, mate, yeah? Awesome. We won't be long. We won't be long. And yeah, let's get down to Bishopsgate Police Station. We'll have a look around Bishop Bishopsgate. We'll let them know. Let them know what we uh, what we got. See if that lady's on the desk. See if we can find Mike Clapham, Ashworth, and uh, what's that other one? Green. Green the liar. Liar Green. Not in. Is uh, PC Ashworth in? Neither of them. How do you know about Ashworth? You didn't check? He's gone. I don't think he checked. Did he check if Ashworth was in? Did, did he check if PC Ashworth was in? Yeah, I heard him look him out. I heard him. Say I, I asked to about you. I asked about PC Matt Clapham, and he right. looked he looked on his computer, and yeah. I said, "What about PC Ashworth?" And he just said, "No, what's off?" Oh, I'll have a look for you. I don't think he looked. Well, I'll have a look for you now. Brilliant, appreciate I that. I can't say what someone else. Yeah, has yeah, yeah. Done, no worries. Obviously. I think he's gone for his break. Though he's just got his cup. So he's gone for he a might tea have break. Gone to ask somebody to look into it. I don't, I don't know. It's coming up on our emails, but I can't get him up on our voter system. Uh, no worries, let me no have worries. another. Let me have another try and write down the next person's name. Green. Green. Do yeah. you know his first name? I don't, to be honest. Because there, there are a couple of greens here. I, know. I know there are a couple of greens here. He wears a green top. There's a green top? Yeah, I already did that day. You were there that day. Was I? Yeah, you were there. I only work here. Yeah, it was. Well, we came in here afterwards. You had the stop search. Oh, yeah. Do you remember? I do remember, yeah. <laughs> you, and two, you and two other guys. Yeah, yeah. that's it, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. You're a lot more calmer now. Yeah, well, I'm not being like pointed guns and stuff at my head, so. Yeah, of course. You know what I mean? I'm having a good day today. I'm having a really good day. Oh, good. And what's, and what's making it a good day? Oh, the 500 pounds. Okay, where's this five hundred pounds? How did you manage that one? You came from you guys. Oh, okay. Well. Yeah, paid me five hundred pounds. So if it, if they're not in, I'd just like to leave them a thank you note. Oh, right. Yeah, I understand. Yes, I've got. I've managed to find an email. Yeah. Which um, says that you can get your card back. Yeah. Okay. So I can send him an email. I don't know if it was Nigel, um, youngish lad. And he had, he was like, um, I don't know if he was mixed race, maybe. And were they the men that you're talking about? Who had, whereabouts in that procedure were they? So they, they, um, they were the ones, well, the Ashworth pointed the taser at me. Okay, so that make it easier to find out who they are then, if they're all part of the... Let me, uh, I'll show you a picture, see if you know him. Okay. If I don't know him, definitely a sergeant will know him. This guy? Have a little look, is that okay? Have it please take it. 
Yeah, I do recognise him. Do you mind if I just get the sergeant to say so I know what his name is? CBIS inventory organisation. Well, that way you're going to take it in there? Just into the room, just there. Because you would know his name, I don't know his name. Yeah, okay. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Be two sets. I'm going to download my phone now. Do we find him? Yeah, I've got his name. I can just see whether he's in for you, okay? Brilliant. What was it again? It's not Nigel. No. Ashford. Ah. That's Ashford, that's it, yeah. I don't know where I got Ashworth from. It's close, I suppose. Very close, yeah. So your accent... Is it Lewis? Is it Lewis? Is it Lewis? So your accent, where is it, where is it from? Yorkshire. Lovely Yorkshire. Um, more, is, it, is that more of a southern or northern Yorkshire? West. Exactly. West Yorkshire. <laughs> so do you travel down here especially, or you move down here? No, no, we're just come for a day. Just come and say thank you. Yeah. I'm just about, I found his rotor here. Yeah. So I'm going to see where he's in for you. He's on a, he's on a night shift. Ah, uh, right. Yeah. What time does night start? Nine o'clock. And we might be gone by then. Might be going on by then. <laughs> yeah, that's it, yeah. About three and a half hours, four hours. That's pretty good going, really, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, not too bad. Yeah. So. Do you want me to send the email to the other half? Yeah, please. Uh, you want me to you Two minutes. Um, if you if you send it to uh, Ashworth, he'll know the others. Or, I mean, you could send it to Matt Clapham. Yeah, we'll do that, mate. As I said, contact on this side. You could send it to um, Matt Clapham as well. Matt Clapham. And I don't know Green's first name, so if you just tell them to say thank you to Green as well. Yeah. He's here now. Let me see if Matt's in for you. He checked. That's the one he checked. He did check that one. I saw him do that. But yeah, can I leave that with you then? Yeah. So just thank you, thank you for the five hundred pounds. Really appreciate it. Make sure in the future, yeah. check before you start pointing tasers at people because if there is no knife, you're gonna to have to pay out again. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And it is quite a scary thing to happen to people, you know. So, but just thank you for the five hundred pounds. Really appreciate it. Lots of love, Michael. And um, what's your name, Justin? Yeah, lots of love, Michael. Michael. Yeah, yeah. Just put that. Don't know. Don't know who it is. C H A E L. That's it. Yeah. Make sure you put lots of love. Yeah. Thank you for the 500. And that's all. That's all, really. And nice to see you in a calmer state. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. And uh, nice to see you not reacting to the camera. Because you did last time, didn't you? You didn't like it. But we are allowed to film. That's the point. Yeah, I didn't get a problem last time. I, I stood there. Uh, I you you started off a little bit and then you calmed down a bit and then it was yeah. okay. But no, you was all right. You've got a very good memory. I do, I do. I've got it on, on, on film, so I've watched it quite a few times. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think it's had like half a million views now. I, th I did a short yeah, actually. It's just a shame that we don't get paid. Oh, I got paid quite a bit. I, I got paid quite a bit for it's that. It's a shame that we don't get paid for being on your, on, on, on your films. You could come work for me and then I'll pay you. Yeah? No? No, we couldn't get paid for it anyway because I wouldn't get there. But yeah, thank you anyway. No problem, but I really appreciate your time. See you again soon. See you later. So that was the lady we met last time. She was a. Uh, she was all right last time, but she's she's cheered up quite a lot now. We're gonna go find Marty because I think there's uh, some contact around the back. Marty, where you at? What happened? I want to say here, my new own business starting some files out. The man looked here. Yeah, I've got a fucking little conversation with fucking reversed up, deeped me out, and then asked me what I'm doing and that. Well, we're gonna wrap up here at the uh, City of London Police incident area. We've been to Bishopsgate, we saw the lady on the desk, we've been to the um, the garage area where it all happened and uh, yeah we're going to go find something else to film now, just uh, going to go catch up to Marty 
and find something else to film here in the city of London and I think we're going to go over to Central and get some videos over there but guys if you like the video hit the like button don't forget to subscribe and uh, yeah for now we're going to wrap up we're going to move on and we shall see you on the next one Oh guys, yeah. Well, um, while I was here, I actually lost five pence. I know I've been getting loads of comments in the in the uh, video asking if I ever did find the five p. Now, you know, there's a little button pocket on the right hand side of your jeans, the small pocket. Uh, my five pence was actually inside there, and they never found it during the search. They obviously never searched me properly, but it didn't actually leave my pocket. So panic over, guys. We did find the five p. It was in my pocket. Just so you all know.